So, when you got the opportunity to be in a Thomas the Tank Engine film, you must have been stoked. I Absolutely. To get to play the role of Thomas, who is such an iconic character and he's so well known and so well loved, was, to be honest, it was slightly overwhelming at first. Uh, but it's such a privilege and an absolute joy and it's an amazing team I get to work with. And I think this film, Big World Big Adventures, is going to be great. And with regards to your preparation, because he's so iconic and... How do you then, do you, do you go back and watch the original material and try and get a flavour or was this a case of you've been presented this script, it's a, a kind of a new, it is a new story, it is a new adventure as far as Thomas and the animation is concerned, did you have a clean slate, how did you, how did you balance that? So when we approach a new movie I think we start afresh with everything and Thomas is always evolving, I think when a character's been around for nearly 75 years it has to evolve it has to change and it has to keep current and modern so the new generation want to watch it and want to enjoy it um, and the animation in this film is simply stunning I'm hoping that the the voices are up to scratch as well um, so we do approach it with fresh eyes um, and uh, hopefully it's going to be really special and, and this, the story is very much, it feels very diverse as well, so it's inclusive of, of all kind of uh, nationalities. Um, yeah, and, and I'm just thinking part of that story that kind of the, the subtext really is about inclusivity and acceptance of other people. And yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that what you felt when you read the script? So in this movie, Thomas gets to journey off of Sodor and for the first time gets to visit the whole world which obviously is, it leads to him going to exciting and exotic destinations. He encounters new cultures, new diverse cultures, um, and gets to meet new and interesting characters as well. And I think Thomas works best when he is a fish out of water, when he has wide open eyes and gets to see things and experience things for the first time. Plus, a lot of the young audience as well will be experiencing those things with him for the first time. So it, of course that's promoting inclusivity, diversity in a really positive and uh, exciting way. And with, with regards to the process and all the people that you're meeting on route, it's a very different process normally for an actor providing a voice. Uh, but did you work with any of the actors or, or was it literally a, you were acting against maybe the director who was g giving you the direction? Well I'm fortunate in that I do, we do our lines at different times but we often get to hear each other. So we record a bit then somebody else might record a bit, but then we get to work with the other person, not necessarily in the room, but we hear them at the same time. So we do get to interact with each other, but it's mainly the director's vision that has us all and keeps us all ship shape and on track. And just the last question with regards to technique and, and how you prepare, because you're not necessarily expected to perform physically, um, does, does the, the voice acting change? Is there, is there something that you need to do with your voice that, that's different to warm it up because of the, the kind of work that you are going to be putting on your voice? To prepare for a recording session, I do some vocal warm-ups. And yes, it is different to performing a stage play, for example, because you need to warm up physically. However, having said that, I don't think that people necessarily understand that even performing vocally is physically really demanding. Because especially with a character like Thomas, who is so animated and often so excited, and when you're trying to voice a sequence, for example, where he's doing a loop-the-loop -loop over a, a rock arch, you can't do it by just standing there. It, there has to be a certain amount of physicality as well, but obviously not making a noise. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, there's, a, there's a huge amount of work that goes into that. But they're very kind, they're very sweet. They tend to start quite gently, and then throughout the course of the session, we'll end up with the crazy stuff towards the end. So yeah, it works pretty well.